Hey there gorgeous, hope you're having a great day. Today's tutorial is a very simple, easy, probably the easiest makeup look I have ever done on this channel everyday look. And I'm using my favorite products of the moment to create this. This has become my go-to favorite look for when I'm in a rush. I just want something fast and simple. If you're looking for something like that, I think you'll really love this one. Hey, before I get into the makeup portion of today's video, I wanted to share the skincare products that I've already applied onto my face prior to the makeup application. I have really been loving this skincare brand called Frey. It's clean, vegan, natural ingredients, a lot of argan oil is used in their products, and they are made specifically for women who lead an active lifestyle. Hello. <laughs> yes. The first product I used today was the Detox Me Post Sweat Clearing Mask. This particular one has kale and clay, dead sea salt. It helps to gently exfoliate the skin, remove dead skin cells, and it also removes excess oil. And that's why I personally love using it before applying my makeup. I don't use it that often. I want to say maybe two times a week, but it does provide a great clean surface to apply makeup over the top of. And I leave it on for about 10 minutes and you can feel a difference after having used it. So really, really have been loving that one. I have also applied the Revive Me Deep Replenishing Serum. This makes your skin feel so incredibly smooth. And you can feel the hydration when you apply it. And it does not affect how your makeup wears over the top. And then over the top of that today, I have applied the Defense Facial Moisturizer. This contains an SPF of 30 in it. It absorbs quickly and easily into the skin. And like the serum, it will not affect the wear time of makeup when you apply that over the top. I love that it doesn't sting my eyes when I'm applying it. I also love that it does not have a white cast and it doesn't smell like sunscreen. I really do not like those moisturizers that have that really heavy scent of SPF. And so I've really been enjoying this one. If you would like to try any of the products I shared with you here today or just look at this skincare line in general, I'll have everything listed for you below in the description box. I also do have a 40% off code so you can save some money and try some really great quality skincare. And I think you'll be really happy with any number of the products that you choose from their website. Next step I'm going to do is apply an eyeshadow primer on my eyes using one from Alter Ego Cosmetics. This is one I've been really enjoying lately. The one eyeshadow palette that I have been using the most out of all the eyeshadow palettes I own for whatever reason, I have been gravitating to this e.l.f. palette that I got very recently, by the way. This is their bite-sized eyeshadow palette in I Love You A Latte. And what I like about it is that it's all matte great set of neutrals and the look that I'm showing you today is one of the easiest looks. I think that's why I've been gravitating to it is because it's so simple, so fast, so easy and it looks great. So I take this shade from the palette and I apply it all over the lid. It is the most amazing cool toned brown that I feel like would be one of those great shades on so many complexions. And if you have a deeper complexion, then you would want to use the deeper shade in this palette to achieve the kind of look that I'm showing you here. And then I take a fluffy brush and I apply it directly into the crease. I'm telling you, this is one of the fastest makeup tutorials you're gonna ever see me do. And blend out the edges and that's literally it. That's it, with the exception of the next step, but you know. And to complete this, I take this shade from the palette, the deep brown, and I use this as eyeliner on the upper lash line. For those who are curious, the brush that I'm using to apply this here is the MAC 263. I love it because it has a very sharp, defined set of bristles, very densely packed together, and it makes creating lines like this extremely easy. For my brows, I have been gravitating towards this pen from Undone Beauty. This is their Flawlush Brow in the shade Warm Brown. And I like it because I'm getting better at it. <laughs> Color is very complimentary to me. I love the ability to create little brow-like hair strokes in the brows and it's just become a favorite. And then for my lashes, this pair from My Lash Line in the style Authentic. They're very natural, wispy. They have a clear band, so they're extremely easy to apply and they're great for every day. For my under eye area, I have been loving this one from Bobbi Brown so much so that I've worn a big hole in it. This is the corrector in the shade Porcelain Peach. Cream-based concealer, melts into the under eye area, corrects, gets rid of dark circles, lightens, brightens, it's amazing stuff. 
For the rest of my face, I've been going between three different tinted moisturizers. These are repeats. I have talked about these so much that I know you're probably sick and tired of hearing about them. But I use them, so I'm going to talk about them. First one being the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Great if you just want a little bit of coverage, but it lasts all day. It's wonderful stuff. ColourPop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturizer, another favorite of mine, and also the Essence Pretty Natural Hydrating Foundation. So today I think I'm going to use this one on my face. The shade that I'm using today, by the way, is Cool Porcelain. Blending. It's amazing. I love that you don't need much, and it gives your skin this flawless look after application. Looks great, lasts all day. Affordable price point, I mean, you can't beat it all the way around. And I've been really attracted to cream blushes lately. That seems to be all that I gravitate to, but I also started using a lipstick that I really love on my lips, but I've started to enjoy it on my cheeks too, and that is Clinique's Beige Pop. This is an old favorite of mine, pinky nude color, and it is absolutely amazing on the cheeks. And so I just take a little bit like that, and rub it in. And I started doing this because when I went up to Georgia to help my mom move down here, by the way, thank you to everyone for your kind words and thoughts. We did it successfully, no issues, amen. But anyway, I packed light, like really light, and this was what I was using. And then to set everything, I have been gravitating back to the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder. The shade that I use is Butter, and what I love about this is that it blurs the skin, and it lasts all day. It provides such a beautiful finish without looking overpowdered, and the glow is still allowed to come through the skin. I also have been adding a little bit of contour to the cheeks with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Sculpting Powder. Shade that I'm using here is Fair Medium. And then for my lips, I have been really enjoying this lipstick from Undone Beauty. This is the Light on Lip in Sunrise Pink. And I love it because it's not too pigmented and you can apply a sheer wash of it. And it looks absolutely beautiful on the lips. It's like a tinted lip balm, but there's a little bit of something extra there. And it's, it's perfect, it's great. What I feel like is great for every day for me. If you are interested in any of the products I use to create today's beautiful, clean, easy look, I will have all of them listed for you below in the description box. Let me know what some of your favorites are for easy, hassle-free, quick, everyday looks. We'd love to hear your product recommendations also. Thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch, and look forward to seeing you again very soon.